Hello, my name is Stine and this is my mini lathe. It comes with 4 way tool post. Centering tool with this tool post was a nightmare, so one of the first things I buy for that lathe was that A to Z quick change tool post. This is some kind must have gadget for any lathe. Not only we can change tool in seconds if we got more tool holders, but also centering the tool is so simple and quick. And when we set its height, block the nut and we got tools in perfect center every time when change them. I got this tool post for years and still work perfect. Of course, it cost like half of my lathe. I think I pay about 150 euro with basic holders. But it's piston type and made complete out of hard aluminium. As I say, it worked perfect, but here and there it show its weakness. So today I will mount and show you my new quick change tool posts and holders from Banggood. It's same dimension but made completely out of steel and it's cuneiform jib type. Let's start with unboxing. I got here tool post and 9 holders, pretty good starter set which cost just about $200. All together with tool post and 9 holders. Each piece come individual packed into box and then protected with plastic bag because they're protected with oil so it won't rust during transport. Because there are a lot of oil on each piece I will firstly disassemble everything and clean them with alcohol. Let's take a closer look now on each part. Start with tool post. I take smallest version 250-000 which fits perfectly to my mini lathe. It's dimension about 45 by 45 by 40 mm. But there are 5 different sizes for different lathe size. There on Banggood's site is clear table where we can see all the measures for each type of tool post and holders. First thing I like on that tool post is its weight. It's weight less than 800 grams, but it's much heavier than aluminium one. I don't know, but my opinion on metal tools is same as about speaker. The heavier is better. Now let's disassemble that post and see what's inside. Firstly remove the 17mm nut and then I can remove the screw which is screwed into 10mm steel bottom plate. I don't know exactly why is this plate for, because I mount my tool post direct to late without this plate. Ok, now I can turn the handle so we get the cone torn out of housing. Then unscrew the inner screw which hold all together. That screw is left so we can pre-tie them when mount on the lathe with nut I removed before. And now we can finally remove the main part of holder, warm gear. Its job is to pull the cone torn and lock the tool holder when we rotate them. It's quite nicely machined and running nicely, but when I push torn inside with the hand I feel slightly jamming. After closer look I found some cutting chip holding into a torn treat. It may wear out soon after start using it, but I just take my proxen and grind the sharp edges. Better? Yes, and also run much smoother. Here you can also see that one of the torn got screwed to set the limit of movement. Here under the worm gear is groove for sealing. There was some kind of rope, but not all around the groove, so I replaced that with a rubber ring which fit perfect into groove. It prevents chips to come into gears, but I think there's more way for chip to come inside here on torn grooves. But anyway, we need to disassemble them time to time, clean all the parts and regrease them. While I try to assemble the tool post, I got help from new camera guy. There are more positions we can put torn into worm gear, but only one is right. With a bit trying during assembly, you'll find the right one quickly. Don't forget to grease the worm gear and inner screw. With that screw, we also set the airiness between worm gear and housing. I'm really amazed about the quality of that product. All the areas where the holder touching is grinded to amazingly fine finish. And also the edges is grinded, so there are no single sharp edge outside. Tool holder slides so smooth on it, and when I tie the handle with a single finger they grab the holder and position rock solid. And also the torn locking downside, so more force we make down on holder, more they will be locked. There are more type of quick change tool post, so far I used aluminium piston type. Not only the new one is 3 times heavier, there are also one more big improvement. Piston type is much simpler design. It just got an center inside, so when we rotate them it push the piston into holder, away from tool post, so the dovey tail groove hold on position. But the entire holder lay just on that tool surface. If you lower down the tool holder, piston hold only on top, so on the bottom they easily change its position during work. On gip type is other story. They extend the dovey tail groove when we tie the handle, 
That means that it pulled the holder close to tool post and grabbed them on four surfaces, which mean more stiffness and accuracy. That's pretty much it about quick change tool post. Now let's check the different tool holders. First one is 250-001. It's basic holder, dimension about 45 by 20 by 28 mm. Groove for tool is about 13 mm height and 8.6 mm wide. Also there we can find really smooth, grinded, touching surfaces. And also every edge is unbelievably precisely grinded. Also tool groove look grinded. I'm amazed how they can grind almost every surface for the price of holder about 13 bucks. For tightening screw we need 3mm hex screwdriver. And each screw is turned from the end, because the end of screw will flatten through the parry to fuse. So we can still remove them without damage the treat into holder. And here's the screw for set up the head. Treat into stopper nut is cut perpendicular, so it's running accurate in center. And it's nicely knurled. That spring washer in the middle work amazing, because if you just slightly tighten the control nut it prevent turning, but still can set without tool. Also in tightening stopper nut stay on its position. Second holder is 250-002. Basically it's the same as 001, the only difference is screw on the button, so we can clamp the round tool into. And the height of grooves is just a bit smaller than 13mm, all other measures is the same. Third holder is 250-004. It's pretty solid piece of steel, with a board to clamp 3 8 and 1 half inch tools. It got two stopper inside, which block the tool from side. None of my tools wasn't fit into, so I make a small modification, but more about that later. 250-005 holder is another solid piece of steel, with more conus too, for attach the drilling chuck or any other tool with MK2 conus. 250-007 is cutting or parting holder for half inch cutting blade. It's really solid and the groove for blade is a bit tilted, so we need smaller cutting angle on blade. It got interesting blocking screw, half of them got right treat and half of them got left treat, so tightening is faster. And the last holder 250-010 is actually knurling tool. On knurling process we need to make big force to get nice result, but this holder or tool is make really solid. It's got two 45 degree wheels for knurling, but they make also the groove on other side for boring tool. That's also the only holder where we can see traces of milling, so it didn't completely grind it. Let's mount now new holder on my mini lathe and make some tests. As I say, I didn't use button plate, but just mount the screw and attach the tool post. Before block it with the nut it's time to set the inner screw to get right clearance between warm gear and housing. I could use a nut with handle on top to block the post, but I didn't rotate them too often, so I just use basic nut. Before fully tightening I move it close to the chuck jaws, so it mounted perpendicular to the chuck, it's most important on parting process. Here we can see what's happened when we rotate the handle. Corner storm go down and it extended over tail groove. We could see that every holder is super fine grinding for all sliding surfaces, so applying holders on one or other side is silky smooth. But even if the surfaces are smooth, blocking with a single finger grab the holder on its place rock solid. And also unlocking is easy. Now I need to prepare some tools. 10 by 10 mm holders fits perfect into 001 and 002 holder. We can insert also 12 by 12 mm, but I use 10 mm one, which is far enough for that small lathe. Next one is parting tool. I buy it half inch high size cutting tool that measures. It's full of grinded angles all around. I don't know exactly, but it fits perfect into 007 holder. Also, the bottom of that high size blade isn't flat. But that holder got grew on the bottom where the tool hook into, and just with slightly tightening the blocker, blade hold on its position really solid. Into boring tool holder we can attach dual size of tools, 3 8 and 1 half inch, but none of my tool doesn't fit into, so I just make a quick modification. I just drill 4 additional holes through the center of bore, while the spacer was inserted. 
then cut M6 Street without spacer and make new screws for that holder. Now I can clamp my boring tool into and tie direct with screws. Now I got installed my basic tools, but before use I need to center them. Centering is fast and easy thanks to the spring washer. But before first centering make sure that the screw is fully tightened, so you set height only with the nut. I don't know what to say, there's definitely a difference between aluminium piston type or that steel jib type quick change tool post. I can cut more at once without vibration. Better stiffness felt all the time, but there are many other weak points in that mini lathe, so I can't make real torture test. After I turning a piece of steel I try to knurl them with knurling tool. The tool is unbelievably tough, it holds the position rock solid, but who try to use knurling tool will know that we need really big force there. So that mini lathe is almost too weak for that job, but I got pretty nice result anyway. But still like to use that type of knurling tool, because with that tool we got most of forces on that screw, not on lathe rails. Because we squeeze the part together there's less force also on the chuck. The centering isn't so delicate because the tool can adjust the center itself. Next one I try holder number 5 with more stool corners for the chuck. When insert chuck need to be gently because the corners grab them really strong. I don't want a holder like that so far because it's easier to use tail stock which is always in center. But I will definitely use that holder for some serial drilling where I can use automatic support for automatic drilling. But every time when using that holder we need to center them by x axis. I don't know if that's right or not, but I use holder number 2 edge cut groove for round tool for direct clamp drill into, and it worked well. Also with that tool we can use automatic support for drilling. When I want to try parting tool I come to another issue. The tool was too high even on the lowest possible position. I could make another treat into late to mount the holder on the edge but then I just mill the holder a bit so it can pass the late part. I never got good result with high size blade for cutting steel because it's too sharp and grab the workpiece quickly on that pure guy lathe, but it show great result on cutting aluminium. I try many different parting cutting tool, but far the best on that mini lathe worked the insert one from Banggood. Also on boring holder is felt much better stiffness than on aluminium piston type. For the end I try to make some torture test anyway. So I take some parting tool which got insert far from tool post, so the force here are even bigger. But as you see entire lathe support moving here, but if you focus on spot between tool post and holder you can see that it moving. What about new steel tool post? There was no moving at all, and actually I can cut with a holder I couldn't before. That's pretty much it for today. I can say a cons about that holders, the only problem I found is that worm wasn't finished. But otherwise I'm amazed how nice they finished the tool post and each holder, every edge and everything is so smooth and solid. But one thing is clear here, there's never enough tool holders, so I need at least another 5 basic holders, they're so cheap that making isn't worth. But I already got 60 degree mill and I will make some holders definitely. But I think I'll choose hard aluminium, because it's strong enough for that small lathe and we got no problem with magnetism. If you need quick change tool post like that, check below for the link and also welcome to check my video about lathe tools. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.